what's up guys welcome back to the channel today on this video we'll be doing the application of demo vs theorem on this question that you see here so before we start how about you pause this video try to solve this problem and let's see if your answer is going to be the same as the one that you're going to get at the end of this video now before we start though i just like to say thank you very much guys for watching subscribing to the channel commenting and not forgetting those who like and share the videos if you haven't subscribed to the channel subscribe to the channel and don't forget to like and share the videos on this channel right guys so let's look at our problem here and let's try to solve it to our level best now they want us to simplify the following complex number that we see here as you can see this is the complex number in a rectangular form and also it has the power of five just in case you don't know this j is the same as i so it's another way of representing imaginary number so don't get confused here all right so there are two ways that i know of that can help you to solve this problem one of the ways is you can expand this five times just like you see there because it has the power of five and start multiplying each and every bracket until you remove all the bracket but this is way too long. So I wouldn't advise you guys to do this method because it's way, 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 way too long. So the other method is you can convert this complex number into a polar form because this is a rectangular form. So how are we going to do this one here? But before we continue, if you don't know much about the rectangular form, you can go to the description, click on that video where i introduce the rectangular form and also the video will pop up on the top right of this one here all right so how are you going to change this rectangular form into polar form so first of all you need to find what we call modulus right so when we find modulus we're going to use the pythagoras theorem so we're going to use r squared is equaling to x squared plus y squared whereby r represents the modulus and x represent the real number of this complex number and y represent the imaginary number of this complex number all right so we need to make r subject of the formula here so we need to square root both the sides of this one here so we know that the power of two and the square root they're going to multiply each other you're going to be left with r to the power of one and then on our right hand side we're just going to leave it as it is right so from there we start substituting let's substitute let us not forget that x is equaling to negative 4 to the power of 2 plus y is equaling to negative 1 to the power of uh, 2 there now if we put this on a calculator our modulus is going to be the square root of 17. so this is how you find the modulus guys now the next step is to find the argument so we usually use a tan theta to find argument so we know that tan is equaling to y over x right now you need to understand guys when you convert from rectangular to polar you need to know which quadrant is this now if you still remember when we draw the agat diagram we know that we have x axis for the real numbers and y axis for imaginary numbers now if you look at this complex number here we know that uh, our real number is negative so it's going to be happening on this side of the real number and then our imaginary number is going to be negative as well so basically this means that this complex number is happening on the third quadrat so let's call it z1 so how do we actually represent the third quadrat it's 180 plus theta so this is how we represent the third quadrat so this theta here is going to be our reference angle right we need to make theta subject of the formula when you make theta subject of the formula we want to write arc tan y over x remember guys when we are seeking or when we are calculating the reference angle we do not include the negative of these numbers here for x and y so we're gonna write arc tan one 
over 4 because y is 1 and then x is 4. So when you put this on your calculator, your reference angle is going to be 14,06 degrees. So this is your reference angle. The actual angle, which is your argument. Let me just write argument. The argument, you're going to take it from this here. So it's going to be 180 plus reference angle, which is 14, 036 degrees. So your argument is going to be 94,036 degrees. This is how you actually get your argument. So when you convert all this into polar, so we can say this is the same as root 17 polar 194,036. Degrees. Guys, this is how you convert from rectangular to polar. Just in case you don't know how to do that, there is a video where I explain further how to convert from rectangular to polar. Now, when it's like this, we can start putting all this polar form into brackets. Let us not forget all this as the power of 5. So we can also start using the de Maivre's theorem. So remember, guys, you cannot use de Maivre's theorem on a rectangular form. So let's use it on a polar form. So when you use the de Maivre's theorem on a polar form, the modulus is going to be root 17 to the power of 5, while the argument is going to be multiplied by the 5. So it's going to be 5 multiplied by 194,036 degrees. So when we get the answer here, the modulus is going to be 1191,578. Right. As for the argument, we're going to have 970,18 degrees. So this here, it's how you use the de Maivre theorem. All right, guys. So let's continue. Now, remember, they say we must leave our answer in a rectangular form. So in order for us to do this, we need to change this polar form into rectangular. So we need to represent this answer here with a different notation of polar form. So the other notation will be the following, the modulus, which is going to be 119,1. 578 multiplied by cos angle which is going to be 970,18 degrees plus imaginary sine 970,18 degrees there we go so here guys this is another notation where you can write the polar form now we multiply by the modulus that is outside here with everything that is inside them. All right, guys, if we multiply this 1191,578 with cos 970,18 degrees, we'll have negative 404,024. This is going to be the real part of the rectangular form. Then we multiply the very same modulus with this imaginary sign. 970,18 degrees. And this is going to give us minus imaginary 1121. One. So, this here, guys, is our final, final answer. As you can see, now we have a real number and imaginary number. So, this is how you convert from polar to rectangular. Just in case, again, you don't know how to do this, there is a video on the description. Go and click on that video, and also that video will pop up on the top right. I explain how to convert from polar to rectangular. I hope you manage to understand this. If it's somewhere you got lost, you can go to that point, rewatch the video. And if it's a habit that you also don't understand, you can leave a comment in the comment section and I'll try to answer you to my level best. Okay, guys, if this video helped you to understand, don't forget to like, share. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. Till next time, cheers.